is this is this decision good for the for the unit? Mm -hmm. You know, is this good for us? If it's good for us, it's going to be good for the show. If it's good for the show, it's going to be accept, hopefully accepted by the fans, and then we'll continue to move us forward. And I, I think that he and I understand that that it's bigger than us. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, there's there's a lot of people outside these doors that that come to work every day and inside these doors and it's, and and depend on us to to show up and deliver. Yeah. And he and I know that we remind us we remind each other of that. And we know that um, this goes beyond just he and I. So we we make sure that you know, just like you would uh, with your partner, with the with you know, with a marriage with relationship, with the yes, business, with, with work. The, you're, mm -hmm. you're a CEO of company and right. you're co-CEOs. Mm -hmm. But if you, you want to, if you, you want that to succeed, shop, if you want that to succeed, then you commit to it yeah. and you make sure that it's working right. And I'll go back to your question, which uh, a I agree, and b I think he and I have a similar relationship with with each other that we do to the fandom. Which is, you know, we're going to mess up every now and again, but we're going to call each other out. And be like, okay, that would, could have been better. So he's called me up or talked to me in person, but like, buddy, like, buck up. Like, mm -hmm. you're not being your best you. And vice versa. Mm -hmm. And to be able to, to trust somebody, it's the trust. Like, the fandom trusts the Supernatural group in general, whether it's the writers, the cast, the crew, the producers, whatever. Um, and we trust each other. So if, if Ackles, the other day we were doing a scene uh, last Thursday or something. Uh, and Ackles comes up and he's like, hey dude, um, pulls me aside, he's like, dude, think about this. Like maybe you're talking about it this way instead of that way. And I was like, sweet, done. So I did it. It wasn't like, who do you think you are? It's a difficult leap of faith to trust anybody else. But after we've known each other for this long, um, we trust each other where I can go like, hey, Ackles, blah. And go, hey, Padalecki, blah. Um, so I think that's been part but of it. I think we know each other, that, that I'm not telling him that to serve some sort of ego that I have. I'm, I'm right. not looking right. to set him up for failure or anything like that. I, I'm only, I know that if, that if he's doing well, it's only, it's, it's good for, what's, what's, yeah, what's, what's good for the goose is good for the gander kind of thing. It's, yeah. it's going to be good for everybody involved. And so I mm -hmm. want to make sure that, and also because he's my friend and I don't want, I want to see him yeah. do the best he can. I saw, him do, I saw him do, you know, that, that take. It worked great. I had an idea while watching him because nobody really knows each other's uh, skill set. No one knows these characters like better than and I do. So if he comes to me and gives me a suggestion, you know, that's that's better than just about anybody else giving me a suggestion, and, mm -hmm. and, and like you know, vice versa. So yeah. it's not like I'm going, oh, let me let me set him up because that that joke was really good, and I don't want his jokes to be better than mine or anything. It, it's there's none of that. It's like no, I want it to be the best possible way. It's a cool relationship with anybody when you truly want them to succeed, mm -hmm. you know? And I think we feel that from the fandom, where we know, that's why we do crazy episodes, whether it's the actors, the writers, or do funny uh, lines or takes or whatever. We know that the people out there who are watching are rooting for us. And I think, you know, I, I, he knows I know, he knows I'm rooting for him and I know he's rooting for me. So it's this relationship where it's like, cool, even if they bark at me, and by the way, there have been times in the last 14 years when I haven't been the best person on the planet, I'm sure, and he's been like padlocky, like what's going on, man? Mm -hmm. Like let's talk. And I've I've gone, yeah, you see me more than anybody on the planet, more than my wife, more than my kids, <laughs> more than my brother, more than my parents. Um, and I think that's that's a, um, you know, that's a testament to, to the relationship that was born on the show. It's, it's yeah, it's obviously, it's both personal and professional, and, and we, you know, we just it's it's been really fortunate to have, kind of a brother in arms like that for this long, and, and we still. Uh, we still work so well together, and it's uh, I, we know it's rare, um, <laughs> and we're very, unfortunately it is rare. We're appreciative it of awesome. it, and, yeah. and it's yeah, we know it's unique, but uh, we're we're happy to have it. So what's next? Last, last two questions. Last uh, yeah. So after all these years, uh, I'm thinking mm -hmm. I might be wrong here. There is like talks and how the show should end, and not, I'm, I hope it doesn't end anytime soon. But. I'm talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, my, my question is, is there an agreement between, between you two and the showrunners of how the show should end, like the final scene, but that's not a talk you guys have. Final scene or final time? Yeah, the final time, like, this is how the show should end. Are you guys in agreement of that? We are. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I think that, that when that when that time comes, that will be a conversation that that he and I have, and, and that, we, that he and I will have together with, you know, our, our showrunner or with our executive producer. Um, heads, and it will be a decision that we kind of all come to and agree on together. But 
what in my is. opinion. What's that? What happened to you? Sorry. As far as what that would be. Yeah. Um, God, yeah. Sure, yeah, we have sure. Ideas, we have ideas, but, but I, I, I don't mean, feel like we're, I don't feel like either of us are the type of uh, actors to go like the show needs to end like this. This is how it needs to end. I want to no. have <laughs> a cool car and some win. <laughs> You know, like I, I know that I know that I will, share. I will certainly want it to be the best that it could possibly be. Yeah. Um, you know, thankfully for for the fans, we're not tasked with that, so we're not the writers of the show. Uh, if we were, we would have been canceled a long time. ago. Long time. Ago. <laughs> <laughs> Never picked up in the first place. That's right. So uh, I know, I know the expectation that I have for that. Yeah. And it's very high, but I also know the talent of our writers uh, can can not only achieve that, but surprise the hell out of us. So it, it would it would just be in their court, but it would be a decision, I think, that that we would all come to together. And, and that's also a really, really cool thing to know that and we've been told this from uh, from the, the studio and the network uh, and our, our writers and producers that, um, you know, that that will come as a collective decision. You know, it won't be it won't be like somebody coming down to me like, uh, guess what, guys, you're you're done, you're all canceled, you're fired, fired, and uh, you know, start packing up. Which stuff. which you're dying. Dying. And you're yeah, and yeah. you're and you're dying, and the car's yeah. on fire. Sorry. <laughs> Just um, before you read the script, I want to let you know. Yeah, yeah I, I I think uh, you know. Again, that's the trust with the with the with the with the entire family, mm -hmm. both the fandom, um, uh, and our bosses, bosses who are all here to celebrate the 50th episode. Um, it's sort of we have this knowledge that we don't no one in the supernatural family whether it's our, the our bosses 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 boss or the fan who just started wants the show to end improperly so i feel great trust that the writers the producers the executives at our network and studio truly want that was so it's cool. your voice I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Then. That's, that's awful. Uh, no, uh, we all want the show to, to go out with class and with style. Um, so we'll see when that day is. Uh, I don't want to talk about it right now, so if we can all gang up on it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm the one with the t-shirt. I know. Yeah, I'm just right. to you. Who was next? Yes. What can you tell us about episode 300? Ooh. Yeah. I, don't know, I don't know that we can give away too much. Uh, we I also know that, that... We haven't read the most recent version. Yeah, I also know that the, the there was a draft that came out that got greatly revamped, so we haven't actually read that new mm -hmm. version of it yet. Um, but I do know there's going to be some some pretty awesome Easter eggs in it for yeah. a lot of people. And, uh, um, you know, it's it's hard to outdo some of the episodes, some of those, those monumental episodes that we've done in the past. The 200th episode, I think, was something we could certainly be proud of. Um, but I think they're gonna, I think they're gonna bring out some, some of their bag of tricks and, and surprise a lot of people with what they, what yeah. they got coming. I think we all feel, and you know, there, there are two of us here, and there are twenty of you guys there facing this way. But if we can represent everybody who's on this side of Supernatural, we're all super grateful for all of you guys and gals. And so I think, unlike any other TV show that I know of in the history of the planet we try to make sure that y'all are going to have a good time you know it's not um we try to give you we, we say easter eggs things like cool little throwbacks to season one or season five or something cool that will echo something in somebody's mind who's like oh my god i remember they said that to this person so cool little like where's waldo sort of thing i don't know if that's a if that's a <laughs> analogy but we are we are we are probably more grateful for y'all than y'all are for us. Like that, y'all are the reason, and who y'all represent and who y'all write about is the reason that we are still able to get here and play pretend about characters we really love and enjoy, and our writers are able to write crazy stories about this storyline or that storyline, and mom comes back, or there's Apocalypse World, and there's Michael and Lucifer, and like who would ever think, like, if you walked into any studio and like, oh, I want to do a show about two brothers who can never die because they come back to life because they have an angel friend and he talks weird, and then like there's this and that, uh, they'd probably laugh. But here we are, 14 years later, um, so we're very grateful, and I think the 300th episode will be 
hopefully, in my opinion, a, uh, a thank you to, to y'all guys and y'all's constituents who you represent. I'll say that the uh, three, I'm more excited about the 300th episode than I've been about an episode in a while. And I'm, I get pretty excited about a lot of episodes. Uh, and this one I'm, I'm really, really pumped about uh, the concept. Um, and I also know that he and I have probably spent more time on the phone with the writers in LA about this particular script than any script in years. Yeah, and it's really new to yeah. Okay. No problem. And that's all the time we have. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One more. One more. You want to do one more? If you want to. Sure. Sure. Almost sure. time. The, the, the series has been on the air. Do you think there has been a renewal of the the audience? Yes. Um, yes. Thank you. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and, and I I think largely in part due to the the um, the multimedia content stuff that that is how uh, you know. Serial shows are, are watched these days. Uh, Netflix, you've got yeah, you've got all these different uh, Hulu and all these, these different outlets, um, and so I think because of the way that content is viewed, uh, the kind of binge watching, um, it is it is brought in a, it's brought in an entirely new audience. Um, some who weren't even alive when the show. That's what I was gonna say. I say I've, we have proof because we've met. 13 year olds who've seen the show. Like, <laughs> you were, we the show. were a season, we were in season two when you were right. born. I'm like, yeah, but I've seen it four times. <laughs> and, and also, we, you know, we've gotten, uh, there, there's been so many, um, fans have shared so many really cool stories about how they came involved in the show, whether it was, you know, their, their mother, their grandmother, their father, their brother, their sister, whatever it was. Um, but I, I, the one that always gets me is, um, somebody who is, you know, a, a grown, responsible adult coming up and going, I've grown up watching your show. Mm -hmm. And that's that kind of really puts it in perspective, uh, you know. How old you are? How, yeah, well, and just how long we've been doing this. And it's and you can, like, I, I mean, there are shows that I grew up watching. Uh, and to be, to, to be uh, complimented like that is, I grew up watching your show. Um, is uh, is just it's a really cool thing to, to hear from people and, and and it's again it's those people that found the show maybe years after it had started you know it's, and then all of a sudden binge watch um, you know we, we met a teenager the other day who said that she binged the entire series twice Whoa. in <laughs> less than a year it's a lot of time. I'm like, you need a hobby <laughs> You need to get outside. Why are you so pale? But uh, but yes, I, I, I will say that I, I don't know that we could have if this was if this show was uh, you know premiered twenty five years ago that it would have had that kind of longevity. I think we we just caught that wave when it started to, to build up uh, and and nailed it um, when people were starting to to have that streaming content and watching it. And to have a show that has this much content available to you, yeah, that's uh, that's a lot of TV. So. And I feel like uh, um, when people say, like you said, when people say, "I grew up watching your show," it's an interesting. Maybe it's our vernacular in uh, American English or Canadian English, um, but it's so much. It's so humbling to hear somebody say, "Like I grew up watching your show," because there there there's a double aspect where. They didn't say I got older while watching your show, or hey, I've watched it since I was four. So I grew up watching your show, and so you think, okay, well, Jesus, what are we doing a show about? And you realize we're doing a show about sacrifice and loyalty and discipline and dedication um, and trying to do the right thing and brotherhood, brotherhood, whether it's between two brothers or between friends who one's an angel and one's a human, whatever it is. And so when somebody says I grew up watching your show, it's humbling because I go, you know what? as weird as it is that my kids might see daddy die someday on TV and then get back alive um, <laughs> and Uncle Jensen die and get back alive uh, I, I think that's a great way to grow up is seeing what the Winchester brothers fight for and live for and die for and you know, laugh for and cry for um, and so as long as that's going on I, I, I guess uh, here I guess we are no complaints here <laughs> yeah. we are yeah, awesome. y'all are visiting, so hey, thank, thank you, guys you guys for being here. So much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.